The R16 content browser contains a lot of 3D objects that will help us create our product shots and visualizations for our clients. But there are times where our packaging design won't be covered by those models, and this is where this preset comes in. We can basically take a box layout and in just a few minutes have a 3D version of it ready to use in our visualizations. It all starts in our design packaging program. What we need to do there is create closed shapes for all the different folds. This can be done really easily by just joining paths together, using boolean operations, cutting paths out and basically doing all the basic operations we designers do day in and day out. Once we have our shapes ready, all we need to do is save a file with our packaging splines only, not the artwork, and import this file onto Cinema. We then just drag our grouped splines into the splines null. Now we just need to center our splines to the tool, so we hit the center rotate splines command, and then we can select the fold preview command. This will basically tell us how the box will fold. If the characters are too big, we just need to lower the text size. As we can see, spline 13 is going to be used as the base for the fold and has a letter B assigned to it. For our design, it doesn't make much sense to have this spline as a base, so we will use spline number 1 to the topmost position. As you can see, this is now our folding base. By moving around the splines, we can tell the tool how the folding will occur. So let's move a few splines around. Now we basically told the tool to fold these splines first and then the rest. Now that we are ready, we can hit the create guides command. This will basically create our packaging. By moving the animation slider around, we can see our packaging fold and unfold. Now if we want to make our some folds occur earlier in the animation, we just move the splines in the guides and all in a different order. So spline number 10 can move earlier. The same goes for spline number 9. Let's do the same for splines 11 and 12. Now what happens if uh, our packaging has some other folding angles? Let's see uh, this example. Here, this packaging needs some attention to these areas. All you need to do is select the splines you want to change and give them a different angle. If you want to make some finer adjustments, you can enable Modify X or Modify Y. This will basically uh, give us a spline guide in the editor view where we can interactively adjust the surface. There are also different sets of settings we can play with in the attribute manager to further modify our design. There are some cases where the tool needs some more user guidance, like in this case here. If there is a problem, like points not aligned or whatever other reason, it will highlight the problematic areas with a red color. Or here we have uh, multiple base points. What we need to do then is to just indicate these areas that need more attention with a knife cut or two. So we just select our splines and introduce a knife cut to these areas. As you can see, now the tool recognizes those areas and we're good to go. When we are ready with our packaging, all we need to do now is uh, bring our design in. And that's really easy to do since our tool automatically creates UV maps for us. So once we have our artboard set to the boundaries of the box, we can export our artwork and then just load the texture up in our material. And that is all we need to do. As you can see, in a matter of minutes, we have a 3D representation of our design ready to show to our client. This preset is accessible by the Visualize and Studio users and can be found in the preset part of the library. Have fun!